Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A uh, quick uh, question, especially on the React web application, that if you see this particular form, this question actually asked by Praveen on LinkedIn, that uh, he is not able to clear this particular username through Selenium. So when I we have a method like dot clear method in Selenium, so Selenium will clear this particular uh, content or value. And then I really want to enter a new value here, for example, Naveen. So we are not able to do that because this is a React application. And this is a pattern and this is an issue that we have seen multiple times. So for example, if you see and inspect this particular element, and then uh, here you will not see that any special thing. It's simple input. It's not like that it's there in the some shadow DOM or iframe or any kind of other container. It's directly input field, which is available. ID is available. Name is available. Placeholder is also available. Class is also there. Maybe some event which is not allowing Selenium to uh, clear this particular value, right? So we want that clear this and enter the value. So default value, which is already there on this particular form. So this is what we want to solve it. So how to solve it with Selenium? dot clear method will not work so we can create our own uh, uh, custom clear method plus in the custom clear method what we can do we can just solve this problem with two things that whatever the value which is available here up to the length of this particular value we'll start from here and then keep clearing with the backslash backslash means like this okay like that see i'm pressing the backslash from a keyboard that also we can do it or we can do with the help of actions class also we can use that right so we will see both the solutions and then you decide which one you really want to prefer. Both of them should work in your, if you're facing this application or uh, facing this problem in the React application, especially that not able to clear the text field. So I'm launching this application and already created this web element by using the name. You see that name is already available with us. And now I'm doing what? Then simple first solution that I'm uh, going to tell you that we are going to use a simple while loop okay until the value is re deleted or removed using what using the backslash or backspace we can say that right so i simple do one thing i simple write one while over here and then i'll start the condition here that element whatever the element that we have created dot get attribute method that i'm going to use which attribute we know that okay uh, in the text field every text will hold a value in the value attribute and in selenium we have a method that element dot get attribute value attribute i'll pick and then i'm checking is what is empty over here and then i'll just reverse the condition with the not here until it is not empty keep doing what and then i'm writing element dot send keys and then i'm going to use keys dot see this pack underscore space here so let's see, is it really working or not? So once this is done, then in this particular element, I really want to enter Naveen. So let's see, uh, here I'm entering Naveen Automation or whatever you want to enter. So let's see Naveen Automation Labs here. Okay, so first it will launch this application, Steve Jobs, which is already there. It will remove it and then it will enter my name there. So let's see, is it really working or not? So run as Java application. Okay, so browser is launched. It's entering the URL. And see, it is removing it just like we do it in uh, normal an actual user manually deleting it and then deleting it and then entering Naveen Automation Labs there. So this is also the solution you can do it, right? So what we can do, we can create a custom do clear method for us and then we can maintain as a utility in our framework if you really want to maintain that. So let's see, for example, public static void and let's see, this is my own do clear method. This do clear method says that you give me the web element like on which element that you really want to uh, that you really want to clear and then uh, supply what then this entire thing I can just simple cut it from here and then paste it here that's it this method is ready and I'll do one thing I just simple call this particular do clear method so this do clear method and whatever the element that you have supplied you supply this so instead of writing selenium clear method you can use this and then it will work fine I'll show you the Selenium clear method also. It will not work. So let's run it again and let's see. So you can maintain the Selenium clear method also or your own dot clear method also so that whenever you face these kind of problems, 
you can use this one. Now see, it's entering Naveen Automation Labs there, right? Now, if you think that, okay, why is Selenium.clear method is not working? Let's check that as well. Is it really working or not? So this is what element.clear method. And then after that, I'm writing element.send keys, the typical Selenium method dot clear and then after that enter the value let's see is it really working or not so it will not work that is the main issue for this uh, component for this react component so let's run it again and let's see so again the the browser is getting launched let me close the previous browsers and uh, see this it's not clearing it it's entering naveen automation labs but after steve jobs it's entering it can you see that here this one so this is not giving me the right solution. This is not clearing it. It's not able to clear it. In fact, it's clearing it. But again, the in the background, the UI is actually triggering the same event. And then Steve Job is coming once again. So that's why that because of that problem, it's not coming it over here. I don't know. There's a problem with the uh, binary that like Chrome driver.exe or it's a problem with Selenium. But for us, it is not working. So this is a hack that we can use it. Just I told you. Maintain this do clear method and then after that it will start working properly here like that. Okay, so simple start a while loop and then keep clearing the value from there until it's empty. Okay, second solution is that using the actions class also we can do that. So I'll do one thing. Let me comment it out these two lines. The second solution is that using the actions class, the typical uh, keyboard actions that we can use it. So here I'm going to do what simple new actions class that I'm going to create. This is a driver that I'm going to supply here. And then here, a couple of things we can do. The first thing is that we have to click on that particular element. So whatever the element which is available, uh, let's see, this is a target element. We will click on that. And then after click, what I want, I want to see this, for example, if I go to this application once again, I want to go to the end of the element, like after Steve Jobs. I just start pointing at the end of this particular element. So in that case, if click is not, let's see, click may be happening over here or click is happening over here, but I want end of the text, like after S, let's see in this particular example. So in that case, what exactly I'm going to do that here, I'm going to write one send keys here. Okay. After click, and then I'm going to supply one keys here. That is keys dot end here. So this keys dot end will go to the end of the text. Right. So simple send keys. And then after that, I really want to press key down. Key down is used for the uh, pressing the, okay, uh, pressing it and which key that you really want to press. So here I'm saying keys dot shift over here. Right. And then after that, I really want to press shift like this. So I really want to do something like this, just select it like that. So started from here, press shift and then press home. So again, I'm writing end shift. And then again, I'm writing this is my send keys and then keys dot home that I'm going to write. So this keys dot home will do what keys dot home will select this entire value from there. And then after that, I really want to provide what I really want to release this particular shift. So in order to release what we have to do in order to release, we have to use key up command here, which key that you really want to release. I really want to release keys dot shift from here. Okay. It means now. First, I come here, select it, release it. Okay. Now, after that, I really want to remove this entire content after selecting it. So how will you remove the entire content? Let's see. After that, you can just simple use again, uh, send keys method that we can use it here. And here I'm writing keys, what the backspace, we can use it here. And once you remove it after that, again, I'm going to use, let's see, send keys. What is the new value that you really want to enter? Naveen Automation Labs, I want to enter here, right? And then after that, simple dot build dot perform or dot perform also directly, you can use it here. So let's see, is it really working or not? So this is slightly lengthy solution with the help of keys. Also, we can solve it, but let's see, is it really working or not? Okay. The browser is still launched. Once the scroller or this page is scrolling is completely done. Let me manually scroll it and then see this Naveen Automation Labs got entered. So I manually stopped it. And then after that, Naveen Automation Labs got entered here. Clear. Let's try to run it again. Okay. I'm not moving my mouse and uh, see that Steve Jobs. Did you notice it's selected and then eliminated and then putting the backspace 
and then entering the new value here. So like this also, you can solve this particular problem. If you really want to make it a, a simple uh, uh, thing here, like for example, a generic function, that also you can do it here. So what we can do, we can just simple do this thing as well here that, okay, fine, do clear or do actions clear method also, I can write it here like that. And this entire thing that whatever we have written, I can just simple cut it from here and then I can just use it here and paste it here. Driver, I'll do one thing, driver I declare at the class level so that I can use it in other method also. And uh, in the framework, whenever you are using it, you can supply the driver accordingly. Okay. And I don't want to use Naveen Automation Labs here. I just want to clear it, enter the value. I'll do it by my own. So let's see, I simple call this particular function do actions clear which element this element clear it and once you clear it after that i really want to enter naveen automation labs there so like this i really want to add that so let's see is it really working or not so simple run as java application and um, let's launch it and let's try that again so it's running it now opening the browser and see Steve Jobs, Naveen Automation Labs got entered. Perfect. So this, these two methods, you can use it if you stuck these kind of situation, right? I can quickly check on other browser also, especially with the Firefox. Is it really working or not? So I'll maintain it on the Firefox as well. Like I'll check it on the Firefox also. Let's see in the Firefox also, is it really uh, working or not? So ideally, it should work. Let's run it again and let's see. It's entering the URL. The slide is slightly slow and perfect. It's working fine here, right? So yeah, it will work for other browsers also. You can try that as well. And let me know if you find some other solution, we can create n number of generic utilities like that. It could be an interview question also. And if you're facing some real time issues, challenges like that, you can use this feature. Okay, so that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all guys.